Um, James Kahn is, I guess, what I should say. Either way, um, I suppose I give credit to my man here for defending her honor, even if she won't do that, or even if she feels like it's gone beyond any chance of reclamation. Get you. Get you, boy. Oh, go away. Mm -hmm. He's got to kick on him like a Mizzou you. <laughs> So he, so Mr. Porter got the best line in the film. What? Look at him walk out like he, that he absolutely knows that he got the killer line too. Damn, you get it, you get it, Mr. Porter. So she went, she went with him. Yeah. What are you thinking of? <laughs> oh, how nice it is. And how much you can shake off with it, just a little cheese. She really does look like a, you know, she's posing for a 1930s flappers calendar right now. I'm doing bond. Happy? You look great. I told you what a couple of weeks would do for you. Oh, it's been lovely, Paul. It's yours. Also, what does your wife think of us being here for a couple of weeks? Is she getting along fine without you? For the rest of your life. With my compliments. <laughs> for the just a little change of environment. Happy? You look great. I told you what a couple of weeks would do for you. Oh, it's been lovely, Paul. It's yours for the rest of your life, Jerry. With my compliments. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Jerry. I had this idea. You, me, I and my wife. What do you think? My appointment to the Far East. For my firm. My firm. You like the idea, don't you? If I can take you... I notice, okay, so again, you're insane. You have a wife. Well, like, where is she? Does she care that you're off with, you know, your childhood or at least your young adult sweetheart? Also, she does like talking with her arms over her head, I've noticed, uh, Miss Shearer. There's nothing anywhere without you. What about Dorothy? Yeah. She'll be much happier, Jerry. Oh, Our sh marriage hasn't meant anything. Oh, my God. I'd like to apologize uh, for all the men or to all the women uh, on behalf of the handful of men who don't fall into the idiotic and sex-crazed uh, paradigm of men in the 1930s who apparently are ready to throw away their wives, their marriages, and their entire professional lives on a moment's notice, if a woman, you know, sort of hangs out with them in the living room for half an hour. She's always bitter and morbid. Never lets me forget for a minute the accident that disfigured her. I forgot. Like, I forgot that was his wife. Okay, so what he's saying is, is his wife is a drag because she occasionally brings up the fact that she has no face because he was so pissed off when he crashed the car when he was drunk and insisted on driving. I mean, yeah, like, what what a ball and chain, man. <laughs> Someone throw a banana at this guy's head. Oh, well, you know. Poor Dorothy. It hasn't been easy for you either, has it, dear? Oh, it's been fair enough, Jerry. It's just that it hasn't mattered very much. Oh, but now things are different. I have this offer. It's interesting. And most important, I found you. Dorothy will give me a divorce. You and I can be married and... and we'll be happy. You think so, Paul? I'm crazy about you, Jerry. Always have been. I believe you. I really do. But... We just spend five years in Japan. You know, we can have a beautiful time. Leave all our mistakes 7,000 miles behind us. 7,000 miles. We can live in Hokkaido and try to avoid those massive hornets that are up there. It sounds grand. We deserve a little happiness, don't you think? <laughs> I think you do, Paul. I think you deserve anything you can get. Why is she here? Beg pardon. Lunch will be ready in just a minute, Miss Jerry. Good news, Hannah. Nice hearing. It's just heaven. Of course, I ain't heard any angels singing, but aside from that, well, we've got to eat anyway. A loafed meat product, hey, I'm guessing. Come on, don't you know it's four o'clock in the morning? The night is young, and we are fine. Oh, 